Hello, my name is Paul Pinto and welcome to Avalonia and a Drink. Today I got my tea and I'm going to drink it to you guys and I will show you how to install and use the Visual Studio Code extensions for Avalonia. We don't have yet the final version of the extensions, but you can download the extensions and use it by yourself for the Visual Studio Code. And for that, you need to go to our uh, GitHub page and the links will be on the description. And we're going to use two uh, Avalonia extensions. One is the uh, XAML Autocomplete and the other will be the Tag and Indentation. You can download the, the extensions using the release uh, for, uh, link where you can see that we have the VXX uh, file that you can download and install it. To install our extension, we just have to open our Visual Studio Code, go to the tab for the extensions, click on the top on the three, three, three dots and click on install from VX. From there, we go to the place where we download our extension and we can install our extensions. Uh, initially, we're, going, we're just going to start uh, installing just the auto completion. And we're going to wait until it says that it's created. And I'm going to open a project that I create for the effect. And from here, we open in our XAML file. And from our XAML file, let's imagine that we want to create a stack panel. And let's close the stack panel. And we can put here a, a text block, for example. When we can put here a rectangle. Tangle. Uh, we can put any, an items control, whatever. We can create anything and you can see that the, uh, the, the auto-completion using the top elements from Avalonia works well. Unfortunately, this extension is not um, enough to be productive. We have always to to, to write our closing tags, if it is inline closing tag or if it is just a, a, it is a closing tag element. Uh, and for that, we have the second extension. Then to install it, you're going to do again, go to three dots, install from VX, and from the place that you did the download, install the tags and indentation. As soon as that is installed, you're going to be able to see, let's put created here, for example, now a text box and as soon as I do a the line close it closes for us. Uh, we can have it uh, a close element too if we're going to put the text block and we just close it without the inline close and it creates for us the uh, element the, the end element of the of the the tag. I hope you like this video and the extensions we developed for you. Be aware those extensions aren't yet foolproof and we still have some bugs that turn them off. To fix that, we need to reload Visual Studio Code or the extension. We are working to improve the fault tolerance and to bring a better and smooth experience to use them. There are a lot of new features that you would like to implement and they will, they will be available in the next versions. I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments in this video or in our GitHub page. Happy coding with Avalonia and a drink.